Hello and welcome back to another prayer video. It is February and it is our first prayer video of 2021, which means that we have officially left 2020 behind. 2020 was a bit of a strange year all around, but looking at 2021, it also seems like it's also going to be a bit of a strange year too. One big shift that we've seen in 2020 was a big shift to working from home. And that is going to be the main focus of our video this month. Working from home can be really strange because there are so many things that happen that just don't happen in regular life. Some things that we've noticed here at ICS is that frequently Richard will get interrupted on Zoom calls by his wife Denise bringing him his coffee. Um, you are frequently on the list now for Amazon drivers who are delivering parcels upon parcels upon parcels, especially if you're in my house because that is a very frequent occurrence. And we've also like been accustomed to like looking at people's Zoom backgrounds to see what their book taste is. It's a very strange time. <laughs> I started working at ICS in July and I've been working at home that whole time. I'm yet to make it to Coventry to visit the office. I haven't met the team in person. I haven't even met Richard in person, yet we are somehow able to put these videos together for you every month. <laughs> Speaking of Richard, he is now going to tell us some things that we can be praying for for our staff team. It's snowing, did you see out the window? Welcome to the February prayer video. This time we'd like to focus on the ICS team. When lockdown happened, they all went home and started working from various you know, the dining room table or the bedrooms, whatever. And they did that really well. My team have been amazing in the way that they've adapted. But there are three things that stand out that really need prayer. Firstly, when you're working like we are, you miss that team interaction. You can't just run upstairs to say to Jeanette, hey, what's going on? Rather, you have to ring or Zoom or whatever we have to do. Secondly, for a number of my team members, it's really isolating. If you live alone and work alone, then you can find yourself very much staring at the same wall. And that's something that we need to pray about as this lockdown has continued. And thirdly, and it really matters to me this, it's something about the work-life balance. It's so easy that you just come downstairs, make a coffee or something, um, and then get distracted. Or that in the evening, when you should be relaxing, you find yourself working. So the whole work-life balance issue can be very complicated. So this February, as you pray for us, please focus on the team members as they serve the Ministry of ICS. So in case you are bored of hearing just Richard and I speak in these videos, we thought it'd be fun to recruit another member of staff to share a little bit about their experience of working from home. Hello, Yelena. Hello. So would you like to introduce yourself quickly, just in case people aren't familiar with who you are? Yeah, I'm Yelena Williams. I work for ICS as the administrative assistant. Okay, so where are you right now? Um, I'm working from home at the moment um, in a room that is full of books, really. Okay. So what have you found the biggest challenge from working at home? Um, I think the biggest challenge is not having the office staff around, um, not to quickly ask questions, not to have a chat and yeah, not having that, that connection, that close connection with the people that that you work with that's hard okay so on the flip side of that what would you say is, is the biggest positive about working from home um the positive i would say is where i where i live is um very close to woodlands and fields and i can go for a quick walk so that's really handy when i sort of want a bit of fresh air don't have to go anywhere as such um, the other thing is no traffic um, in that I don't have to get in traffic to get to work and to get back again. It's easy to get into the office, so to speak. So yes, those are the two positives, I would say. Okay. And how can people be praying for you? Um, I think the biggest thing is I have self-doubt and sometimes with not having the people around me, I question whether I'm doing things the right way, whether I um, c 
can focus properly on, on the work and not allow self-doubt to get in the way of achieving uh, what I need to achieve in the day. So yes, that would be what I would like prayer for. That is great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Another thing that we'd love you to pray for this month is for our chaplains as they navigate doing church online. Everyone has found so many creative ways of doing this and we've seen so many great things coming out of our chaplaincies. Especially with Lent coming up, a number of churches will be running Lent courses online. So we ask that you please pray for these, that they are able to be conveyed creatively, well communicated and have such a great impact on everyone who is participating. Lastly, we just hope that you are keeping safe and doing well also. And we hope that you enjoyed this video and that we'll hopefully see you again next time. In the meantime, why don't you follow us on social media to keep up with all the latest updates. We have a Facebook page, a Twitter account and an Instagram account that you can follow. You can also join our Facebook prayer group where we post our daily prayer points. Thank you again for continuing to join with us in prayer. We really appreciate all of your support.